I feel so lucky to have a space dedicated to this hobby of mine, my sewing room. I just thought I would share a little, a little, pe little pieces of it with you. I love to sit and sew and look out this window, which is soon to have flowers all back there. And I'll just sit here and make stuff. I still love those boxes. Hubby found this little container and I made the boxes to go in. He painted it. It's such a neat place to store things. I love this box because you got to think outside the box. These fabrics, they just have more memories than anything because they're all from projects that I've already done. Well, not all of them, but this one came from one of my camper makeovers. That's my cushions out on my deck. So, so many cool things in there. I still remember making this craft. It's got duct tape all around a coffee can. You wouldn't guess, would you? Hello, hello, happy Friday, it's Friday. I'm so happy that you're here at my channel. I'm Stephanie, we're in my sewing room and I just wanna chat. A little bit of sewing, a little bit of life. I've got all kinds of stuff to share. And um, I feel like if we start with sewing, I feel like I've been productive with nothing to show you because I have another collab coming up and so I've been working on it on the sly. But before I you know, go any further, I just wanna say it's going fab. A fabulous and it's going to be one of my favorites and I can't wait to share it with you so enough about that just I've been playing with that pattern and having the most fun I'm wearing my Mary dress right now the blue and it is just a favorite I love I've made two love these dresses I just put out a video on it explaining you know what I liked about it and different things and this is the one I put pockets in so loving it and I'm wearing a cardigan I don't think I've shown this cardigan. So I made my own pattern, drafted my own pattern for what I felt like was a cardigan I really loved. And I've made it like um, three or four times. And this is just a navy, oh, I love this. It's sweater fabric. It's just so soft and so flowy, I love it. I'm gonna show you me, let's see how much you can see here. Well, I chopped my head off, but isn't that great? You can't see that I'm wearing my slippers. <laughs> I should show you. I'm actually not wearing slippers per se, they're Skechers, but you know, they're my house shoes. Do you have house shoes? So, I wore this to church last week um, on Sunday and it was so comfy. I could have been wearing pajamas, but I felt like it was really cute too. And it just goes with everything. I think I could wear this solid blue with so many different jackets. It's just going to be a staple for sure. Are you on Instagram? I'm on Instagram and I love looking at my feed. And it's funny because I feel like we should be in a group of girlfriends and maybe not sewing people and look at each other's Instagram feed and see just how different they are. Because I feel like, you know, my feed would really only interest you if you love sewing because I have a lot of sewing on my Instagram feed. And one of them popped up with this amazing make that she did. And I actually like a lot of stuff she makes. She's one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. And her name is So Busted. And I'm gonna put a link to her Instagram account so you could follow her too. But she put up this top that she actually made into a dress because she made it longer. And it's Simplicity 8642. I have no idea if it's available in the store because when I saw this, picture that she posted. I had to have this pattern. I went on Etsy and bought this. I can't remember how much I paid, but it is my size because it's easy for me to pick the wrong size and then I'm stuck. I can't wait to make something out of this and I don't even care if it's something I can wear or not. I just want to make what she made and actually if her make was on the cover of this pattern, it would sell like crazy. It's way prettier the way she posted it than the way they're posting it. So, to pick out some fabric and make that sleeve, I love a dramatic sleeve. I mean, there's so many on here. There's a cold shoulder, 
There's one that has like an inlay of some lace and a ruffle, the one that she had on So Busted. And then there's one over here. I don't know what that is. Just so many cute sleeves. So this is gonna be fun to play with. And I don't even care if it's something wearable. I just could put it on my mannequin over there and leave it up all the time. So it's on my list of something to make because I really just wanna try that sleeve and see what it takes to make that. You know, what, what the heck? How'd they do that? Uh, so I'd like to know that. And I was thinking about something we were talking about last week, which was, are we in one season or another? We're at the end of winter and we haven't really hit spring yet. I mean, you know, it's cold outside, freezing cold outside. So I'm still wearing, you know, warm clothes. And um, another one that I love on Instagram, now she's on YouTube too, so you can follow her there, is Naughty Gnome. That's Sarah. And she does an amazing Instagram. Everything she makes looks good on her. Love it. Love it. No, not true for me. I make tons of ugly stuff that does not look good on me. And I need to make a video of just my things I hate the most because <laughs> there's lots of them. Anyways, she made a comment and several of you did, you know, so whatever you want, but I liked her comment. She's like, why not just sew spring instead of stressing yourself out to hurry up and finish something winter and then, you know, you're not really gonna wear it for very long. So, spring it is. I'm not even gonna avoid, like when I look at my fabric wall, which is behind you, I'm not even gonna look at it and say, that's for spring, I'll skip it. I'm going for it. That's what I made a decision. So thank you, Sarah. Uh, I love that input, it's really good. Now I have a question for you. I'm looking for input. Someone else was asking in, do you guys read the comments? You guys should read the comments. You'll make some friends in there. Some really cool people. I am, I just sit in my chair and look at all the comments. I just love seeing what you guys are up to. And a wealth of information. So I'm asking for help. Someone in the comments, it was the comments on the Mary dress. They were saying, would this be a good first project? I wanna learn how to make clothes. And I was thinking, no, not for your first project. There's like tricky stuff in there. You know, like that shawl collar, and the, uh, the pleats for the wrap right here. Um, it's not a hard dress, it's super easy, but for the very first thing you ever make, probably no. So I wanna know, what do you recommend as the very first pattern someone would make their very first garment? I picked um, my favorite new look. I don't, rem I don't have it here, I'm gonna post a picture of it somewhere up here, because um, it has a t-shirt dress that I've sort of hacked over the years, but um, if you made that as your first knit project, it would be so easy. But I'd love to know, knit or woven, what is your recommendation for your very first easiest? And make it a garment, because we can all say pillowcase, right? All, we can all say pajama pants, but it would be neat if it was a dress or a top. I mean, you'd really have something. So I put the word out. I'm kind of curious to see what your answers are gonna be. And it could be indie, it could be big four, I don't really care. I would just love to see what you think would be a first time, first project for a beginner sewer. I'm excited to see what you say. Um, okay, I'm looking at my list. Some of you are asking, am I enjoying my new sewing machine? And the answer is yes. I can't even say so much. There's just so much. I'm still learning it. I still have to get out the book and double check when I'm threading. And I love to get good at threading because I don't want to think about it. And, um, you know, kind of off the topic of the faff, when I first started serging with my serger, it was not the air threader that I have now, which is, I don't think you can see it, but um, you had to thread it. And I remember like learning how to tie off so I would never have to thread it. And then one day I just sort of threw up my hands and I thought I should be really good at threading and then I'll never have to worry about it again. So I just every single time wanted to change colors, I re-threaded it. I can thread that thing like that. It's no big deal. And so that's how I want to be on my faff. I want to make sure that the threads always go in the right direction. It's going through all the loops. I've had a couple of times where it's just not right and I'm like, I bet it's the threading. Take it out, re-thread it. I've learned how to wind my bobbin, but I still have to look. So I'm looking forward to it being like, you know, set in stone, but many things are set in stone. I'm still reaching for the little uh, lever that puts my presser foot down because it's auto. You have to push a button, but I'm loving that. It has more guides when I'm sewing. It has more guides. I'm, my sewing is neater and I'm a really sloppy sewer. So this is helping me to neaten things up. So I'm really excited about that, but mostly it's just a dream. It sews really well and easy. 
and it's intuitive. And um, yes, it's computerized, but I've learned most of the stuff that you're going to do is the same over and over. I've learned most of that, so it's really just like, do, do, do. it's, I love, love it. I have nothing but exciting things to say about that. No regrets whatsoever. Love it. Love it. And it's so pretty. It is, right? It's so pretty. I don't have anything going on in life. You know, to talk about life, nothing much going on at all. Um, hubby's working a lot and I'm sewing a lot and there you have it. In fact, I was going to say, if it wasn't for church, I probably would never do anything. It's like that gets me out of the house. And on that note, I wanted to kind of say, if you're kind of stuck at home like I am, uh, church, you know, if you don't have a church, find one because there's really good ones. And I've been going to the same church for five years and I don't know anybody. And I started thinking, that's not right. You know, I just go to church and leave, go to church and leave. And I love it. And I've started going to stuff and I've volunteered to do stuff. <laughs> and now I'm meeting all kinds of people and it's very fulfilling. So if you need to push yourself to get out there, I'm going to say church. Um, Lent is coming, and then Easter. It's my favorite, favorite church time of the year. There's just a lot to that. So I thought I'd put it out there. That's, that's what I've been up to, is church, basically. I've been working in the gift shop at church, and I'm loving that. I figure I like to shop, so why not work in the gift shop? I don't want to do stuff I'm not good at. You know, cooking, cleaning, I'm not good at those things, so... There you have it. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine who is big on gardening and knows like a lot. I feel like all this time my camera is leaning. If it is, I apologize because it feels crooked. You just can't tell. Sometimes you just can't tell. Well, here I am, crooked or not. Um, but she offered to go shopping for plants with me and I'm really excited because this is my second year and I don't know what to do with the soil. I don't know how to plan. And um, if you've got someone that knows, take advantage, right? So I'm totally taking her up on that. And uh, she's like, well, you've got to prepare your soil. And I'm like, when? She goes, well, not now. And I'm like, okay, I need help. I need help because I want, I loved having fresh food. Loved it. And I'm looking forward to having that again. So I am into that. I guess that's about it. Time for your, your turn. Your turn. Go in the comments and tell me my answer to my question. Beginner project. If you want, don't feel like you don't. Tell me what you're making. I love that. It's so fun. Do you ever go down and see what everybody's making? I'm just nosy. You can tell me. And I know this is already done in another video, but thank you to Andrea Chapman for doing a collab with me. We had so much fun and I loved doing that. And so um, I'm looking forward to doing another collab. I feel like it's fun to just interconnect with somebody else who has a channel and knows, you know, what I'm doing. It's, it was super fun. So thank you, Andrea. And if you haven't seen her channel, go take a look. Um, so that's about it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And come back to see me. I've got some things coming up. Definitely, like, you know, I'm just excited to share. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe and the thumbs up. And click the little bell. And that will put you into a little uh, notification whenever I put out a new video. And you never know when that's going to be. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.